hey, hey, Kelly, will you do me a favor and yell at Seacrest? Will you yeah, tell him to him. take the ring into the volcano and have it unmade? It's in Mordor, the volcano. Just say Gollum. Just say Gollum Seacrest. Okay. Just say Gollum. Scream at him. You want me to say Gollum? Just say unmake the Gollum ring. Seacrest? Unmake the ring, Frodo. Yeah. yeah. Gollum Seacrest. <laughs> unmake. Oh, yeah. oh my god. We have a delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gotta be Good. a delay. This channel is celebrating with the, the Steve Wilcox show. So. Well, it's 2021, and I've got a laptop here that obviously needs Windows XP installed on it. So uh, that's what I intend to do in this video. We're going to take a look at what has changed since the last time I took a look at Windows XP with this familiar ThinkPad here. All right, so the excitement is over for the most part. The dust is settled. And it is 2021, 2021. I almost said 2020 there, could you tell? So, you might remember about a year ago, roughly, more or less, about a year ago, I made a video uh, kind of similar to this one. And, uh, oh, the things I didn't know at that time. And uh, 2020, what a year. Yeah, what a year that was. Um, and, uh, what a year it was for Windows XP as well, because a lot of things have changed, and that's why I'm making this video, um, as opposed to last time when I just showed off this laptop, which already had Windows XP installed and fully set up. Um, I'm going to be installing Windows XP on this laptop. I already have the disk in it. I already have a hard drive in it. It's all ready to go. So let me step over here and turn it on real quick, and we'll do it right now. No need to waste any time. It'll start up here momentarily. Got a nice Acer splash screen. Gonna see here, just a second. Press any key to boot from the CD. That's what we want. And I'll let you hear some of the nice sounds that the CD um, drive makes. set up this starting window. I love the sounds that that CD or DVD drive makes. It sounds almost like an old inkjet printer. So this is the Acer Spire 3002 LCI originally shipped with Windows XP Home Premium which is what I'm installing here. Um, which uh, as a matter of fact you can see right there at the top of the screen. Um, this laptop has been featured in a couple of videos at this point, most notably Windows 10, installing Windows 10 on the worst possible hardware because this laptop features the first CPU that supports NX bit. But that's another story, you can go check that out if you like. Um, today we're installing Windows XP, so welcome to Setup. This portion of the Setup program prepares Microsoft Windows XP to run on your computer. To set up Windows XP now, press Enter. Repair XP installation using Recovery. Press R to quit without installing XP. Press F3. We're going to press Enter. All right, so we are formatting the drive. It's making all kinds of noises again. Spinning that hard drive up. So, 
I'd like to take this moment to talk about some of the things that have changed with Windows XP since the last video. So of course over the course of 2020 we had the Windows XP uh, source code leak which made some headlines um, but that turned out to not be too significant. Apparently it was kind of a partial leak. Um, didn't really mean much for Windows XP users like myself. Um, we had the great shutdown of the servers for the Windows Me and Windows XP um, MSN online games like online online checkers got shut down unfortunately. Uh, I think they even shut it down on Windows 7 so shut down something on there anyway. Um, shutting everything down. The most notable uh, to me was the shutdown of the servers for Windows Update on Windows XP and Windows Vista. So what that means is you can no longer install updates automatically right through the operating system. Um, you can install updates offline with some offline installers. Uh, there are dedicated programs for that, although you've got to uh, dig up an old version of it because uh, they don't support XP anymore. So you'll have to look back and try to dig up an old version. Um, what are we doing here? Set, copying files. All right. Pretty far along into the installation already, actually. Um, but what it also means is that you can't automatically download drivers for Windows XP through updates. So you have to either try your luck with one of those sketchy driver installers, um, the little driver installation utilities uh, that you see the advertisements for all over the internet or um, try a look at trying to find the drivers um, individually on websites and of course if you're dealing with a, web a laptop that was designed for Windows XP from 2005 likely the uh, manufacturer does not support that laptop anymore so you're going to have to be finding that from some third party source like drivers.net uh, or something like that I don't know but Basically what it means is installing Windows XP fresh, like I'm doing right here, um, and like what a lot of people still enjoy doing who want to use Windows XP will do. Uh, it makes that a lot more difficult and adds a lot more steps and adds a lot more just time and frustration to it. Uh, it can still be done, but ugh, it's so much easier if you can find a laptop like I found back there, my ThinkPad. It already has Windows XP set up, the original installation, that is. Um, so, we're almost halfway here. I'll let that go along a little further and we'll take a look at uh, what happens next. Right now we're copying USPSHUTA.EXPS. Cursed USPS. I have a few packages right now. Anyway, I won't get into that. It just spun down the CD, so now I can take that out, I believe. Yep, if there is a floppy disk in drive A, remove it. <laughs> I like that. I've got my floppy disk removed, so it won't boot up from the disk when it reboots here. Um, it will boot directly into Windows XP, or at least in theory. Wouldn't it be bad if it booted up, started booting up Windows 10? Ooh. Um, so, basically, yeah, the point of this, oh, look at that, this laptop's been waiting for that. Um, point of this video is I want to see what exactly it'll take to get a fresh install of Windows XP running on a laptop like this. Obviously, it doesn't have drivers installed, so it's going to look a little funny here, it's 640 by 480, but, um, oh, and I hope it doesn't start playing music. That's going to be bad.
Okay, so you can probably hear the CD drive going. Apparently it still needed the disc. Um, it says setup will complete in approximately 39 minutes. We have the nice little things that said in the startup of Windows XP. I always enjoy reading those. Um, so, as I was saying, I wanted to see what it would take to get Windows XP fully up and running from a clean installation like this. Uh, this is some goofy ISO file I found online, so it might be a little weird. But this is supposed to be preloaded with uh, Service Pack 3, which is what the discrepancy was, but it is working now. It says installing devices, the little green bar there. Um, so I'm just going to see. Uh, this is just kind of a typical old laptop. This is a low-end sort of budget notebook from 2005, as I said. And uh, just see uh, how hard it is to find drivers for it online. And yeah, just uh, see what it takes to get it set up. So. talking question mark. One of the sillier aspects of the Windows XP installation. It'll be right there if I, if I need it. I might actually, I don't know. Um, the way this stuff goes. Uh, automatic updates. That, unfortunately, is no longer possible as, I'll, as I just said. Of course, you can't get updates anymore on Windows XP. Yeah, it didn't make any sound, so I'm guessing I don't have any sound drivers. This has nothing. This is totally just bare bones, so I'm going to have to go and try to search for some drivers for this thing, see if I can get it connected to the internet, see if I can bypass that whole activation thing, because that's not possible anymore. And, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, report back to you when I have something interesting to say, I suppose. See you later. All right, well, you're not going to believe this, but on this USB drive, I have the drivers, thanks to the official Acer Indonesia website. Um, official website, yeah, you heard that right. Acer still has the drivers up for this exact notebook. Um, so I'm going to try to install those drivers on this, and we'll just see uh, what happens. Uh, since it's from the official website, I expect it to work, but you never know about this stuff. Um, but yeah, just so you know, that is incredibly lucky though to find drivers still on the official website. Usually you do have to go and find them on some sketchy drivers.biz website or something like that. So, um, 
just keep that in mind if you yourself want to get a Windows XP laptop it's not a bad idea if you're looking at one to go online and uh, check to see the availability of drivers if it's a particularly popular model um, like ThinkPads for example there should be drivers available but if it's something more obscure or something from say Compaq or I don't know um, you might not be able to find drivers Sony is also particularly hard to find so anyway I'll go ahead and install these drivers and uh, see you in a minute all right, well, it is now raining on January 1st, 2021. Uh, wouldn't be a CRT Productions video without a little bit of rain, of course. Um, it got quite late last night, as you could probably guess, so I called it quits, decided to finish this little experiment up in the morning. Um, but much to my amazement, I actually got everything working, um, including Wi-Fi drivers. Um, I might be out of range of our Wi-Fi at the moment. I'm not sure if it'll work out here, but uh, I had Solitaire pulled up, of course. Um, the, never mind that. You can see right there, wireless connection is now connected. Um, I don't know if it'll be able to pull up any web pages, but um, we'll just see. It does work, though. So let's see if it'll pull up Google. Um, I've got some goofy up. Yeah, there you go. Looks like it's, it is going to pull it up. So we've got some old browser on here. It works. Uh, old version of Opera. Uh, it's kind of an interesting uh, little roundabout way that I got the uh, Wi-Fi to work. So I installed the driver from the Acer website. And of course it was still not working. Uh, so I went to de Device Manager and had the little... It didn't show any Wi-Fi um, adapter on there, but it showed something called Ethernet adapter, I think it was, or Ethernet controller. Um, and this varies for every computer. I mean, you, you might, yours might work perfectly fine. Yours might have a different problem. Um, but mine showed up as uh, Ethernet controller under, like, unknown devices with the yellow exclamation point beside it. All I did was, after I had installed the drivers for the Wi-Fi card, I right-clicked on it, uninstalled that Ethernet controller driver, and went up here to um, the scan for hardware changes, and it literally just fixed itself. I mean, it just installed the driver, and everything was fine. I typed in my Wi-Fi password, and now you can see it has the little green bars, and as you could very clearly see, I was able to connect to google.com just now. Uh, in addition to that, I can pull up Notepad here. I can type a little bit of stuff here. I can enter down, down there, and then I can scroll back up with my little scroll buttons here. You might be able to tell. There's what I typed at the top, so that's working. Drivers for the little touch device. I think it's the Synaptics, however you pronounce that. Synaptics pointing device, so that works. Um, all Everything's working. This is fully set up, and I'm using Windows XP in 2021. So that was my goal for this video, to get this fully set up. Um, as I said, you can't install updates anymore. Um, that's really not a big issue, though, concern, considering all you'd be installing, as the rain starts to get harder, um, all you're installing is some really out-of-date uh, security updates. Um, so, yeah, you, you install some more security updates, but they're already like six plus years out of date. So, it's not all that useful. You also get the little update where it pops up the window saying Windows XP will no longer be supported in 2014 or whatever. So, updates isn't that big of a deal. The biggest thing is the drivers. As I said, you can't automatically install drivers through Windows Update. But then again, Windows XP was never really great about installing drivers through Windows Update anyway, so, hmm. But, um, as I said, also the uh, game servers, you can't play online checkers anymore. Uh, I actually kind of enjoyed that from time to time. Kind of a goofy early 2000s thing. I don't know. It's fun. But can't do that anymore. I think they even shut that down for Windows 7, didn't they? I don't know. 
anyway, Microsoft went kind of wild with their in 2020 with their shutting things down. Uh, but yeah, Windows XP is still here, as I showed you just now. They can still use browsers, just better browsers than uh, this old version of Opera, of course. They, um, there's the um, MyPal browser and all kinds of other ones that are still supported. The old version of Chrome still works pretty decently. All that hasn't really changed that much since my last video, so I recommend you, as far as using Windows XP, go and look at my 2020 video, um, which I'll have linked in the uh, description or comments somewhere. I actually ended up using Windows XP quite a lot in 2020 on that old ThinkPad that I showed you earlier. And, um, yeah, it's, as far as using it, you can actually, with the old version of Chrome, you can actually pull up Office 365, I learned, um, with that. So, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not a big fan of Office 365, but, hey, it's a currently supported version of um, Microsoft Office that you can use with Windows XP. Uh, just in your browser, of course, you can't install it, but you can use it in your browser. Um, you can still go on Discord, you can still use Steam, all of that stuff still works. It can, it can sometimes have some problems, but it'll, you can get it working. Um, and yeah, that's really all I have to say for you. I um, hope your 2020 wasn't too bad. Um, I wish a as good as it can possibly be 2021 to you. I'm looking forward to it. I think 2021 will be better. And uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say to you in this video. Um, we'll see how Windows XP fares in 2021. Hopefully it's better uh, for it than 2020 was. Even 2020 was even bad for Windows XP. How about that? Hmm. I have one more thing to say though before you go. Um, if you'd like to join my Discord server, yeah, yeah, I recommend it. You would uh, have known about my Windows XP uh, I guess, adventures throughout the year. Uh, if you were in the Discord server, I uh, post some funny things from time to time there. If you want to join, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine. You can also follow me on Instagram. I've been posting on there quite a bit more lately. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.